is Fran behind the camera from the Last Green Valley and we had the pleasure today of hanging out with the folks from At Horizon Wings and uh, they were able to release a, a an eaglet back into the wild who had been injured earlier in the year and they're going to tell us all about what how we got here today but first let's introduce them. You are Sandy Vinton. Hi I'm Jeannie Wadworth. I'm Mary Beth Kayser, Director of Horizon Wings. Thank you ladies for spending some time with us today. Um, so tell us what happened what how why are you even releasing an eaglet back into the wild okay we first got notified um via another uh, wildlife rehabilitator that there was an eaglet down on the island and Jeannie and sandy were the ones available that day they had already been out in their kayaks they had the equipment uh, i was with another volunteer bill thorne and we were heading the opposite way to release a peregrine so we split in two teams, one to release a peregrine, another to uh, come out here and save the eaglet. And these ladies can tell you more about that. Sure, so that was a crazy day because we were um, over at the Natog River kayaking. We get the text from Mary Beth. Then we realized there's no way we're gonna be able to fit an eaglet in a kayak. So we had to figure out how to get the canoe. So my dad's friend has the canoe. So we had to coordinate all that. Um, and I can tell you the adrenaline was pumping that day, driving in here with the canoe to go out and get that eaglet on the island. So what happened to the eaglet, do we know? Uh, the nest was rather shoddily built, probably in a hurry. It was small. This eaglet bounced out probably before it was ready. Uh, had a fracture of the humerus high up by its shoulder. And when it was x-rayed, it was brought to Horizon Wings where Tufts asked us to stabilize it and keep it for the evening. So that's what we did. Uh, pain medication, fluids to rehydrate it. And then we ran it up to Tufts where they x-rayed it, found the fracture in the humerus. It was an old one. They did not want to go in and do surgery. So they just wrapped the wing, um, wrapped the wing, re-x-rayed it. We left it up there easier than transporting once or twice a week for x-rays and bandage changes. And uh, she did well. They put her under anesthesia to do physical therapy with her. And after they put her out into the 100 foot flight aviary, she took off and it's history from there. We picked her up yesterday, Jeannie and I. Uh, Brian Hess came out and banded her yesterday afternoon at Horizon Wings. And again, Jeannie and Sandy loaded her into the canoe. We went out as a team and uh, released this bird back. Back to her nest area. Back to her nest area, right. Yep. And the sibling was actually there flying about and uh, pretty much scolding us for being in the area. <laughs> That's so, fantastic. All's well that ends well. Yep. We hope we gave her that second chance at life. So about how long did her rehab take? About five weeks. About five, five six, six weeks. weeks. Probably yeah. six weeks. So I imagine that now the hope is that she, you know, she hasn't been in rehab so long that she's going to remember some of the skills she was starting to learn. And uh, she was and, probably too young to even really start learning skills okay. at that point because she was barely flighted. Yep. So hopefully we got her back in time for um, Eagle 101 and parents will come in resume feeding and teaching her how to be an eagle and how to hunt. Fantastic. And I know you left her some food just in case, so yes, give her a little left, head start. Yes, uh, we left quite a few trout. Thank you, DEEP, for supplying us with trout so we can do that. Fantastic. Um, so now that she's banded, we're going to be able to kind of keep an eye on her. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, if somebody's got a good spotting scope or binoculars, uh, they will be able to focus in on the bands and know that yeah. it is her. Right. And now, uh, from my understanding, is these mo this mom and dad have been in the area for quite some time yes. um, with nests. And so this is not their first pair of eaglets, and no, uh, as far as we know. Well, like the fourth time maybe wow. I don't okay. five. Yeah. so so they're they're uh, experts at this point they're not uh, new at all this so no they're not their nest i think was built in a hurry uh the last one came down it was in a tree sort of over the water and the tree came down yep and they threw this one up probably in a hurry this spring to uh re-nest and hopefully they will do the same next year but maybe take a little more caution and construction of their nest Fantastic. Thank you, ladies. Thank um, you. This is Fran Thank again you. from the Last Green Valley. It's always a thrill for us to work with Horizon Wings and help them and support them in any way. Um, and, and they are a huge part of the success story of, of why eagles are coming back to the Last Green Valley National Heritage Corridor because of all the work they do with education. So again, thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, thank we you. will talk to you all soon. Great.